Hi everyone and welcome to Bujena Cybersecurity Channel. In this channel, I share cybersecurity threat concept, methodology of cyber attacks, hands-on labs, penetration testing skills, and internet security data privacy tips. If you are new to this channel, welcome and make sure you click on the subscribe button so you won't miss any future video like this one. My name is Jose Ernest, Certified Ethical Hacker. Today's video is about how to detect the DOS attack on Windows machine. Without further ado, we're gonna see what is the DOS. The DOS stands for Distributed Denial of Service. It is an attack in which multiple multitude compromised computer attack a single computer, therefore causing denial of service for user of the target system. However, there is a way you can identify if there is any IP listening to your computer. Netstat is a common lie utility which displays statistic and TCP IP connections on a system. Without further ado, let's jump right now to our lab. Here we are using Windows 10 to accomplish our goal on this lab. The lab objective is to try to detect the DOS attack on Windows. To accomplish that, we are going to type CMD. CMD it is a command prompt that allows you to access the back end of the DOS command. We're going to start typing dash ino and also save that result in a text files in our machine. If you Asking what is ANO? ANO means A stands for displays all connections and listening ports. And the next step creates a file for us, which lists all the listening ports with the co corresponding IP connections. So the next step we're gonna do on our lab is to, to list. Now check the total number of connections at port 80. We're gonna see how many IP addresses connected to port 80? So let's tap net. Let's tap net start ino and pipe find for us. Okay. Backslash i and also port, port 80. Port 80. We're going to save this result to a text file. So what are we going to do? We're going to tap net start again in I.O. Pipe find for us IP address and also code port 80 and save this information for us in IP that text. All right, good. Now, guys, we create two files, the next start files and also the IP, the list of IP address we're going to uh, have port 80 listening to. The next step in our lab now is to, if we find an IP address, we have to be able to block it, correct? So, in order to identify the IP address, guys, if you want, we can open the files we created. Let's go over the file we created earlier. Guys, we have IP and net stat. Remember, we create the net stat files. Now, let me maximize. That way you can see. So, we can see right now we have how many port are established connection. We have this port. I established one, two, three, or four actually establish connection with a foreign address so let's say guys we want to block it 52 176 70 165 that 30 it is connected to port 443 let's say for example that particular machine try to uh uh that particular machine to try to deduce me okay that's why I identify that IP address and I'm gonna use uh, another command. Remember that we can just copy it here and we're gonna block that comment, guys. We're gonna block it, okay? 
So in order to do that, let's verify the IP address list we just noticed. Okay, now we have listening. We have uh, we don't have any IP address listening right now, but as we can see on the results on NetStack, we can find an IP address and block it. So in order to do that, we're gonna click on the search again. We just need to close our window. We're gonna click on the search again and type sec par dot mmc as a reminder if uh, if you don't see just in case if you don't see sec par that meaning you have windows home edition i'm using a windows uh, 10 professional version so you can do it you can find it if you have a windows 10 pro so right now i'm gonna minimize my comment prop now on the local security policy window if you look at at your left right click at your left and we're gonna create a ip security policy we click next and we can block foreign block foreign okay block foreign ip and here fip block this is my description here guys and you can leave it as it is and just click next and edit properties you can leave it like that so now we have a window pop up what are we gonna do we're gonna add that ip address here on the tunnel so this will there's a specified tunnel we leave with as it is. we leave it as it is click on next all network connections click on next and now we are going to add our IP address list FIP block okay FIP FIP blacklisted okay blacklist okay IP black blacklist all right guys okay let's make it blacklist now what we're gonna do is to click add guys here we click add and next we give it a description and next again now when you are on the source address you have to select specific a specific ip address now we're gonna remember we copy it we're gonna paste it here guys this is where you're supposed to block that ip that's try to kind of uh, prevent you from accessing your computer because if you notice your pc is very slow you won't be able to to do any work on it that's the kind of ip address we're gonna actually block so any destination address any so we click finish okay we click finish we click next so that was the we select it and now we select it again and click next and finish now we have it created so the next step is to assign assign the assign to click on our side is our block foreign and we have to click on assign now we finish with the assign the next step the last step is to start ipsec in order to start ipsec we're gonna go back again to search and type services that mnc and hit enter we're gonna find ipsec here and start ipsec guys this is our ipsec and we stop it and start all right now guys we're gonna verify if this ip address can access ip config can we ping ping the comment we just created now hmm 
general failure guys this machine won't be able to access a computer at all as you can see it is possible for you to detect if you have a home computer and you notice that that pc is kind of slow you can do that uh you can use the next start command to identify okay what it is listening to your computer so without further ado guys i'm gonna stop this video here and if you find this video is useful for you so far don't forget to click like button and also subscribe so you won't miss any future video like this one that's conclude our video for today see you in the next video